The next college basketball conference to be randomly selected is America East, a conference based mainly in the country's northeast. Despite being a lesser known conference, there are actually some pretty impressive venues, so let's check them out. SEFCU Arena, Albany Great Danes. This venue is simultaneously boring and spectacular. It is basically a concrete box wrapped in a grass embankment, yet it looks incredible in my view. Inside it's looking pretty fresh after some upgrades in recent years, including the addition of this rather nice video board. A team called the Great Danes couldn't have anything other than a big screen. Leave that to those puny little chihuahuas. No, okay, okay, I'm sorry. Other than that, I appreciate the steep gradient of the baseline seating. Binghamton University Event Center, Binghamton Bearcats. There's also plenty of green on this exterior, you just don't have to mow it. The building itself is much larger than a typical basketball arena of this capacity, and that's mainly because it's used for athletics as well. There is a track underneath the stands, which are of course retractable. It's a similar situation at one or two other venues in the conference. Those press boxes and luxury suites up there look kinda cool. Chase Athletic Center, Bryant Bulldogs. You have to be careful not to confuse this place with Golden State's Chase Center. Because not only are the names similar, but they, they look almost identical as you can see. Especially since a few years back where they exchanged the arena's wooden bleachers with proper seating on one side. The other side seats are of the backless variety, but there is a giant bulldog face which is always appreciated. Golden State of course don't have a giant bulldog face, so it's, it's, it's really up for debate as to which is the better venue. Cross Insurance Center, Maine Black Bears. Oh look, they have their own giant lumberjack, but I suppose that is a standard feature nowadays. Ooh, they have their own clock tower as well, but watches have been around for years. It has a distinctive seating layout within, I particularly like these sections, and more importantly the view from up there is incredible. Oh my word, I can't, I, I can't believe my eyes, is this real? How could a site so beautiful exist within a basketball arena, oh my, wow. Lundome Gym, New Hampshire Wildcats. Tucked away behind the main stand of the Wildcats football stadium is a very basic building that is quite typical when it comes to the small college basketball arenas. With a single tier of retractable seating along the sidelines and no seating behind the baselines. There's not all that much else to say other than to mention that it's the oldest arena in the conference, having opened in the 30s. Wellness and Event Center. NJIT Highlanders. This is a fairly new venue that surprisingly cost over a hundred million dollars to build, but that does include things like a swimming pool, practice courts, etc. So when you consider that, it's understandable. The design is pretty impressive, especially that huge glass wall that makes up the facade on the northern side, and allows people to look out onto the soccer field. Inside there's a very widescreen video board, and despite how new it is, they've still opted to include some bench seating, which I think some people do actually prefer. Costello Athletic Center, UMass Lowell Riverhawks. You know it's not going to be the most exciting venue when the building has the exact same shape as the adjacent parking garage. And yeah, it's not really. It's also the smallest arena in the conference. We won't say much else because the Riverhawks also play at another venue. And that venue is... Come on. Come on. Ugh. Songers Center, which is obviously significantly bigger and comfortably better. But what it does have in common with the last one is that it's located on the side of the Merrimack River. As you can see, there's a whole lot more going on both inside and out. It has the largest capacity in the conference, as well as the largest video board. 
It was home to a professional ice hockey team from the time it opened up until 2010, when they decided to stop existing which was around the same time that the university purchased the arena for themselves and renovated it. Chesapeake Employers Insurance Arena UMBC Retrievers This is located in Baltimore, and if there's one thing I know about Baltimore, it's that earn, earned, and earn, earn. Very true. This is the newest arena in the conference, which you could probably tell by the freshly dug up earth in the aerial shots. Considering its relatively small capacity, it's a little surprising to see that it has a double tiered layout. Quite like it though. It means that every seat in the house is right on top of the court. Patrick Jim, Vermont Catamounts. We have a pretty plain all brick exterior and inside it's looking even more dated especially those wooden bleachers. The Catamounts have definitely fallen behind their competition when it comes to the quality of their arena. But there is a good reason for that. They are planning on building a new arena on par with the other new venues in this conference. However, I believe they've been facing some hurdles. For now, they're stuck here. And those were the America East basketball arenas. If you enjoyed the video, I'll definitely be covering more conferences in the future, so consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, have a good one.